The City of Peabody Zoning Board of Appeals meets tonight in accordance with Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 40A and other applicable laws. Tonight's hearing will be conducted in the following manner. The Secretary will read the legal notice or state that such notice has been waived. All applications will be heard tonight in the order they were received in the City Clerk's Office. The petitioner or petitioner's representative will present the subject application to the Board. The Chair may limit the length of all remarks. All parties and interests will be given an opportunity to speak either in favor or in opposition to a pending application, and then the Board may receive similar written communications to be placed on the public record. The petitioner will be given the opportunity to refute any such remarks. Let me just quickly go over a few rules, housekeeping tips that I usually do every meeting. Um, I'll make it really short this time because there are just a few of you here. Uh, so when we call your name, after the secretary reads your petition, come up to the podium and please state your name and address for the record clearly. Uh, you then tell us why you're here. It will either be you or your contractor or your attorney, what, what have you. Um, at that point, when you tell us what you're looking for, what you have asked for, what you have written on your application, remember that you are here for dimensional relief. Uh, it is not necessary to tell us what you do for a living, how long you've lived in Peabody, what kind of neighbors you have, do you like them, do you not have like them. Uh, all of that is extraneous information that I, I will not hear. Um, so please try to keep your remarks pro or con concisely to dimensional relief. When that is all done, anyone in the audience will ask, do you want to speak in favor? Then anybody in the audience, do you want to speak in opposition? You then, the petitioner, will have a chance to come back to the podium and discuss any of the issues that you want, or your attorney will. We will ask a few questions, if we have any, and then we approve and, or not approve. Let me remind everybody listening that not everything can get approved and not everything gets denied. Um, if everything were to get approved, there would be no reason to have this board. We are a board of four this evening. Some people um, couldn't make it. Uh, so you need four yeses for anything to go through this evening. Uh, at that point, we vote yes or no. Then the decision is typed and filed in the city clerk. Once the decision is filed with the city clerk, you have a 20-day appeal period. Our zoning board clerk, Carla, has everything spelled out for you nicely when uh, it's time to give it to you. Cell phone, which I know you're not going to do tonight. There's only two of you. But cell phone videoing of any of this is not allowed. We do not give you permission. Please don't do it. We're on TV. We're on Facebook. I don't know. We're on YouTube. So there's really no reason to take your cell phone out and start videoing us. Also, once again, there's only two of you, but please don't speak from your chair. You have plenty of ample time to come to the podium and speak. Um, so. Once again, speak directly into the microphone, name and address for the record. And at this point, I think that's all I'm going to say, and we will begin. Um, the first item um, is a continued application, so we don't need to read the notice. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll call uh, Attorney Jack Kelty to the uh, podium on 10 and a half Winter Street, Peabody. Um, I'm, I'm John Kelty. I represent the petitioner in this matter, and I uh, respectfully uh, request that this matter be carried over to uh, the next meeting um, due to the fact that we only have a four-member vote. And do you need a letter on that? I can give it to you tomorrow. Okay. Motion to continue. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we'll see you next month on... Ne next month on 10 and a half Winter Street. That was number one. Number two is application of Frederick Peterson. 
Notice is hereby given that the Board of Appeals, City of Peabody, will hold a public hearing on Monday, March 18th, 7 p.m., Wigan Auditorium, City Hall, 24 Lowell Street, Peabody, on the application of Frederick Peterson, 121 Winona Street, Peabody, for a variance from the provision of the Zoning Ordinance 2017 as amended Section 72, as it applies to the premises known as 121 Winona Street, Peabody, Map 45, Lot 3. The petitioner is proposing an addition and requires relief from the right side yard setback where 20 feet are required and 7 feet are proposed. The property is located in R1 zoning district. The application and plot plan are available to the public and can be viewed at the City Clerk's Office, the Board of Appeals Office, City Hall in advance and just prior to the public hearing. The application and plot plan will also be available at the time of the public hearing. Thank you. Uh, members of the board, my name is John Kelty. I'm an attorney. I practice law at 40 Lowell Street in Peabody, Mass. I appear on behalf of uh, Fred and Sheila Peterson. They are the owners of the property at 121 Winona Street in Peabody, Mass. Their uh, proposal uh, is to build a uh, uh, garage uh, at the right-hand side of their property line, uh, and we are seeking a variance to allow for seven feet uh, where uh, 20 feet uh, is required. Uh, that's the only variance needed uh, uh, for this project. And uh, my client, uh, Mr. Peterson, uh, has informed me that he has spoken to his neighbors and he was generally met with uh, um, a positive response. And I don't necessarily see neighbors here this evening, so I'm happy to say that uh, I think that my client worked it out with his neighbors and uh, we'd ask that you vote favorably on this variance. Um, through the chair. Uh, Attorney Kelty, is there a, currently um, a garage on the uh, left side of the property where the existing um, driveway is located and will there continue to be Multiple garages? Yes. Okay. He's good. He has garage under on the left-hand side of the property, and then he's got garage under also right where that pr proposed uh, addition is being proposed, and you see the driveway coming in. None of uh, his garage space, they're all single car, and uh, none fit the vehicles that the family has now. The one on the right is kind of a side entrance. So at the result of this project, how many parking spaces in garage spaces are we going to have with the property? In the new one? And will the other single space garages remain as is, or are they going to be turned uh, into not, something else? Not intended to be converted to rooms. I think they'll stay as they are. He stores um, some things in there. The chair, if I could, to the attorney. Uh, Jack, is there any, um, what's, what are the plans for the upper portion of the new proposed garage? Is it going to be one story or two stories? Or? Uh, it, it, it'll have the pitched roof uh, and uh, there'll be, there's no uh, living quarters or there's no uh, plumbing or anything uh, okay. being placed in there. Uh, it'll be just storage. open storage, yeah. Thank you. Anybody in the audience to speak in favor? Anybody in opposition? Any other questions by us? Second. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? You're all set, Jack. Number three is Thomas and Emily Holden. 
Notice hereby given that the Board of Appeals of the City of Peabody will hold a public hearing on Monday, March 18, 7 p.m. Wigan Auditorium, City Hall, 24 Lowell Street, Peabody, on the application of Thomas and Emily Holden for a variance from the provision of the Zoning Ordinance 2018, as amended Section 7-2, as it applies to the premises known as 115 Linfield Street, Peabody, Map 101, Lot 22A. Petitioner is proposing a deck and needs relief to the side yard where 13 plus or minus feet are proposed and 20 feet are required. The property is located in R1B Zoning District. The application and plot plan are available to the public and can be viewed at the City Clerk's Office, the Board of Appeals Office, City Hall in advance and prior to the public hearing. The application and plot plan will also be available at the time of the public hearing. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ryan Penny. I'm a general contractor. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of um, Thomas and Emily Holden. Uh, they're looking for relief on the left side rear of the house. Um, I believe the setback is 20 feet, and we're proposing to build a deck with, at 13 feet, and that's where we would need the relief. Unfortunately, there's nowhere else on the house to build the deck without it um, impeding the driveway. Yeah. Through the chair, you doing all, have you done all the work on that? House? Yes. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. Great job. Thanks. Very nice. We're getting there. Any other questions? Anybody in the audience to speak in favor? Good evening. Uh, my name's Richard Medina, 1B Laurel Street, South Peabody, and I live uh, right across the street from this uh, petitioner, and I'm happy to uh, come this evening to support, to support this uh, variance. Okay, so uh, this, this house has uh, been in the family with Florence and Barbara for years, and, it, and they, they deceased, and the house has been empty. And now the young couple, Tom and Emily, are coming and fixing it up. And this contractor is adding the porch, which adds, adds to the value and, and livability of it. So we are happy, I am happy, that this young family is moving in, and the father, I hear, is moving in next door, and the Holdens, who have been the backbone of Linfield Street, along with the Broughton family and the Walsh family, have kept Linfield Street the way we, we would love to see it for the next generation. And this is, this is why we keep Peabody as Peabody. And so I'm happy to support this petition, and I'm happy for the young family and hopefully they'll be here in this auditorium 50 years from now, like I am when I moved into that neighborhood 50 years ago. So I appreciate the appeals board and I appreciate the work that the contractor is doing. Thank you very much. Motion to close the public hearing. Motion to approve. In favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? You're all set. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You. And the last on the agenda this evening is number four. Uh, three Mount Pleasant, right? Oh, three Mount Pleasant. Notice is hereby given that the Board of Appeals City of Peabody will hold a public hearing on Monday, March 18, 7 p.m. Wigan Auditorium, City Hall, 24 Lowell Street, Peabody, on the application of American Construction Corp care of Attorney John Kelty for a variance from the provision of the Zoning Ordinance 2018 as amended Section 7-1 as it applies to the premises known as 3 Mount Pleasant Drive, Peabody, Map 29, Lot 6. This petitioner seeks a variance to allow front yard of 24.7 feet where 50 feet are required, rear yard of 47.5 feet where 50 feet are required, left side yard of 31.8 feet where 40 feet is required, right side yard of 19.3 feet where 40 feet is required and 324 square feet of access in parking space area where 350 square feet is required. Property is located in a BR zoning district. The application and plan are available to the public and can be viewed at the City Clerk's Office and Board of Appeals Office, City Hall in advance and prior to the public hearing.
Uh, thank you. My name is John Kelty. I'm an attorney. I have offices at 40 Lowell Street in Peabody, Massachusetts, and I am here this evening uh, in this instance on behalf of American Construction Corporation. They have offices at 6 Pranker Road in Saugus, Massachusetts. Uh, they own this property as Mount Pleasant Realty Trust. They are also, uh, their address for that Realty Trust is also 6 Pranker Road, Saugus, Massachusetts. And the uh, property we're dealing with is Three Mount Pleasant Drive here in Peabody. Uh, we have asked for a variance that, the, uh, that um, Dan has actually read uh, into the record. Uh, we're asking for a front yard of 24.7 feet where 50 is required, uh, 47 and a half feet uh, for rear yard where 50 is required, uh, a left side yard of 31.8 uh, where 40 is required, right side yard of 19.3, uh, where 40 is required, height of uh, 50, we're not actually seeking a variance, will be less than 50 feet, and uh, we will be two stories. Um, the, uh, originally, you, This board had uh, granted a variance uh, about last year um, for this property, and at the time, I then went uh, and obtained a special permit. Um, Mr. Coburn, who is the owner of American Construction, uh, was intending to um, just rehab, refurbish uh, the existing uh, structure. Uh, and as he began uh, to get inside and began to uh, tear the building apart to accomplish that, he began to find that uh, there was an awful lot of rot. This was formerly a greenhouse and uh, Dan Conley and his wife operated the florist uh, shop there and um, uh, now he has decided that he is tearing most of the building down. We will use the existing uh, footprint. We will use the existing um, uh, foundation. And there'll be a couple of spots where um, there had been jogs in the house, and those will uh, be filled in so that we're much more rectangular uh, type of uh, uh, construction. And um, we have uh, provided you with uh, copies of uh, what the building uh, would look like. I have a color rendering if uh, the board would like to see that. And the only difference between what you have been given and the color rendering, rendering that I have is uh, the roof now would be um, flat roof rather than uh, pitched. Um, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. We're currently also before the Conservation Commission, and I will be back next month uh, for the width of the driveway. Through the chair, if I could. Um, Jack, just and not that it matters, and I'm glad that to see that they're actually putting up a new building, because yep. and, and, uh, I, the, the special permit has conditions which should satisfy everybody. Um, but didn't you have tenants before? Pardon? Wasn't it originally going to be somebody's off? It, it, the rendering shows future tenant, future tenant. When you were there before, didn't you have people ready to go in? No. No? No. So was, okay. No, actually, uh, and this time we won't need to go to the city council because um, if we get the relief from this board, uh, then I will not be, I got the building, uh, the special permit in the last occasion because I was uh, renovating a pre-existing non-conforming uh, structure. Uh, in this instance, if uh, we're given the zoning relief we're seeking, uh, there'll be no need to go to the city council. But we did not have tenants. The expectation is that uh, any tenants in the building will be sort of somewhat complimentary, probably an accountant, maybe um, uh, somebody's small sales office, but nothing that would uh, uh, have a fleet of vehicles or anything like that. All right. Well, with that being said, <laughs> um, do you, do you still plan to ad address the concerns of the council, sidewalk, lighting in the neighbor's property, which, sure. you know, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's something this board should condition. I mean, it's... it's yeah, it's we'll do those. To, you know, but I, I, I... 
you did agree to it before. Yes. So. And we would again. We there were all issues that were uh, uh, that'll arise again when we go for site plan review. Okay. Then, then I'm not going to. Then I'm not going to. Okay. Thank you. But you are going before conservation. Yeah, before we're currently any filed there. Yeah, and we've gotten our uh, uh, memorandum critique, if you will, uh, from Will Pollitz, and uh, we're working on that uh, to try to uh, uh, make some uh, improvements to our drainage system. We have nobody in the audience, but we'll do it anyways. Anybody in the audience to speak in favor? In opposition, hearing none, the matter is before the board. Second. Move to approve. Second. Favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So vote. We have a little business. Uh, This. Yeah, John Kelty. Sure. Um, March 5th, uh, 2019, from Attorney Kelty's office, a dear um, zoning board and chair, I kindly place the above captioned matter. This is regarding 3, 5, and 7 Andover Street, PVD, on the agenda for the next regularly scheduled meeting um, for the ZBA on March 18th uh, to discuss a six-month six extension of the variance issued by the City of PVD on appeals on April 24th, 2018. So they're looking for a, a six-month extension on the uh, 3, 5, and 7 Andover Street. That's Tuma and Elias Realty Group matter. To move to grant a six-month extension for the said variance. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All set. To approve the uh, meeting minutes. Oh, second. <laughs> All set. Motion to adjourn. Second. Adjourn. We'll see you next month, April 22nd. Thank you.